Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard Apprentices. We have, as I promised in yesterday's Quinjet video, which I'll link up above for you if you didn't get to see it. I got some Super Nintendo World photos for you. Wow, these look fantastic. <laughs> Only two of them, they're from Universal Universal Core on um, Twitter. They posted these behind the scenes photos yesterday of Super Nintendo World. The first makings of the facade coming to, this is at Hollywood of course, at Japan it's fully framed, it's just about, at Japan the land is just about done, but in Hollywood it's making significant progress as well, and there was a slight rumor that there's going to be a six month, six month stoppage on the project to put funds into Super Nintendo World at Orlando and the uh, replace the kids zone area at that park in Universal Studios Florida with um, Super Nintendo World now that the um, park is another Epic Universe is on pause. But these new photos, it doesn't look like that's happening. Hopefully in this knock on wood that that doesn't happen because we are progress progressing very well. I don't see a reason why they would need to stop the project. No, because they're almost done with the project. Again, it has an opening date of next year, next summer, which is less than a year away. And as you can see, look at those Look at that, that, um, the, and here's a much better picture of the facade there. And it looks, you can see it's just a wall, but they painted that wall to make it very cartoony and very Super Mario World D, Super Nintendo Wii. Um, by the way, Universal has not officially confirmed this project yet, still hasn't. They only confirmed a uh, Nintendo World is coming. To Hollywood, but we all know the only thing under construction right now is that, and the only thing, the other two things under construction were Jurassic World and Sequel Ever Pets, which is done. So, obviously, this is that lower lot construction is Super Nintendo World, just like the Veloci Coaster or the Raptor Coaster um, under construction on Orlando is, well, the Veloci Coaster, of course. Um, the Universal kind of semi-slipped it in our recent news article over there in Orlando Weekly. But back here, this facade looks absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to see it being constructed at, uh, I can't wait to see it being attached to Universal Studios Hollywood to Laurelon, even though the park may not be open. If it, if it does get attached before the park does get open, I can get sort of some, it's a cool vantage point for everyone to go see it located at the Sheraton. If you drive up towards the em Universal's Employee Parking Garage or the VIP Parking Garage, or the, I think it's also the Preferred Parking Garage, there's the Sheraton. You go up, you hang out by the Sheraton, and you get, get a nice shot of Super Nintendo World. That's where I got my last update when I did my City Walk video a couple of weeks ago. And I, I cannot wait to see this being attached. Right now, this is being built by that big blue wall and the big blue lake on the studio tour. And you well, before you just before you kind of head up by Fast and Furious and by Jaws, you see that the massive lake and the massive um, blue screen, not a green screen, but a blue screen. And this is where this this is being built backstage. So I guess they're gonna build this backstage, um, or build all those all the facade pieces backstage, and just attach them like like a puzzle piece or like glue to the actual steel construction. Now, looks like this is even like pre-made or obviously looks easy to build. So I feel like it could potentially be attached very soon, maybe even as early as later this week or next week. I mean, I, I assume these pictures, you can only assume these pictures are from Ted or yesterday or this week at least. But who knows? Who knows? They could have built, um, who knows how, how, like, how long it takes to put attach these things. It looks great. It could be installed relatively soon and the moment that happens oh trust me i will be there um but it, look, but it looks absolutely fantastic i can't wait also for bowser's castle to start appearing i just hope when they put up these awesome facades depending on where they're going i hope it doesn't like block the interior views of construction and to the land but uh that's that would be totally fine if it does because that just means it's nearing completion. But what do you guys think of the first 
facade pieces coming to Universal Studios Hollywood. I'm actually kind of surprised that they're already, like, they're already at that stage. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of steel up, but I think Bowser's Castle would come first because that building's fully enclosed already where the, there's the rest of the land. So uh, ju just recently got its second level. So the fact that they're already preparing facade work means they're doing quick work here. I love it, Universal, quick work. It's like with Secret of Pets, quick work, and Jurassic World, quick work. Um, that's all then, let's uh, all hope they don't open <laughs> with, um, you know, looking like they're half done though, like Jurassic World did. But based on Hagrid's and the Universal's other recent projects, I'm pretty sure that will not have happen, especially what it looks like in Japan. It looks just gorgeous. I can't wait to see those interactive elements happen. I hope, even though we don't get the Yoshi ride, I hope we get a, like a the uh, the moving Yoshi like Japan does in the moving shells, and I hope we get all of that, even though we may not have Yoshi Mountain or the Yoshi ride. But once again, what do you guys think of these new facade pieces? Are you excited for them, be, for them to be put up? And are you excited for the rapid progression of this project? And do you think the rumor is true that Universal will stop uh, project uh, construction on this for six months to provide funds to Orlando? And what would you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. We have some Six Flags Hollow Fest news, some Fright Fest Hollow Fest news coming, and a potential SeaWorld opening August 28th. Um, may not be a theme park opening, but maybe a marine only, marine or animals only experience or a Seven Seas Food Festival type of thing. Some cast members are being called back. So, could we have an announcement for that soon? And maybe even a Six Flags announcement video, as well as a Disneyland reopening date. Lots of good stuff happening in the next few weeks, or next few days actually. So, definitely subscribe to this channel for more updates and as always have a fantastic